have you ever stopped to wonder what it takes to create one of the most essential pieces of equipment in baseball? Wilson Sporting Goods has been making baseball equipment since the early 1900s. Though the techniques have changed, their dedication to the product has been. Beginning with one large piece of leather and almost 100 templates. The leather is laid onto a large press where the first series of press templates stamp out the leather pieces one by one. The press template not only creates the desired outline, but also most of the holes where the glove will later be stitched. Using every inch of the leather, large and small, this stamping process is repeated, creating all of the individual pieces used to finish the glove. Extra padding that goes inside the glove is also stamped out in the same method. The pocket or catching side of the glove is placed on a template where the logo and style of the glove is stamped directly onto the leather. The actual assembly of the glove begins by creating the pocket's netting. Layers of leather are glued together and every piece of the pocket is reinforced with stitching to create a strong catching area. Next, the Major League Baseball and Wilson logos are added to strips of leather that will make up the glove's fingers. The fingers are created again by layering and stitching together leather, this time with some darker leather strips for accents on the seams. This process is repeated until all of the individual finger pieces are sewn together. Once this is done, the seams are flattened by this machine, which loosens the stitching, allowing the leather to be worked with a bit easier. This leaves us with our second completed part, the back of the glove. Taking the finished back of the glove and the inside of the mitt, the two pieces are sewn together inside out. The glove is turned right side out and the fingers are shaped a bit, leaving us with something that looks a bit more like a baseball glove. A second glove is made to fit inside the larger glove's finger. This hand-sized glove will be stitched together and then re-stitched with thick padding, which has had even more reinforcement sewn inside to protect all those delicate little fingers from lying dry. The shell of our glove and our specially padded finger glove meet each other for the first time with a little glue. Now it's time for the fun to begin. The laces are inserted to the glove through what looks like the giant eye of a needle. From corner to corner, the laces wrap around the glove, tightening and loosening it to the individual player's desire. The glove continues being laced through the net and the fingers, and we're almost there. Once the laces have been tied and trimmed, the glove has one last test. A good thrashing ensures that everything is together and in place before it gets sent out into the world to really be worked over.